right, so hit the like button, hit the sub button, hit the notification bell. You understand me? Subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Instagram. Join this Fisk Unit Army and get Fisk Unit tough. All right, look, Duval, I got some bad news for you, all right? Y'all still ain't shit. Upon further review, y'all still ain't shit. Now, unlike the rest of y'all, I back my rants and opinions up with my money, okay? Now, I'm going to take the under nine and a half on the Jaguars season win total. This is easy money. This is easy money. Now, what you have to understand is this. In order for Jacksonville to hit this over, they got to win 10 games. They got to win 10 games. I know what y'all thinking. Oh, their division's easy. No, it ain't. Oh, Trevor Lawrence is the next big thing. No, he's not. Y'all got to understand something. The AFC is stacked. There are no easy games in the AFC. The only easy game that they have are the Texans. And the problem with the Texans is defensively, they are stacked. And they have D'Amico Ryans, who is a defensive mastermind. So if even the Texans, for as bad as you might think they are, the defense is going to be hell. And they can run the ball. And it, you know what I'm saying? So it comes down to like, if CJ Stroud is any good, they're going to be competitive. I'm not saying Texas is going to be lit because, you know, not yet. But black head coach, black quarterback, you know I'm rooting for Houston. You know what Big Fisk is rooting for Houston. Black quarterback, black head coach, middle of Texas, you know what time it is. So I hope they're good, but that's the easiest game Jacksonville's going to have of those two games. That's it. That's week three and week 12. Other than that, Y'all want to go down the schedule for Jacksonville? This, this little fraudulent $3 bill team? Check this out. Week one at the Colts, that might be a loss. I have an underdog video coming uh, in a couple days. You know what I'm saying? I'm a, every week, I'm going to give you my live dogs. I'm going to tell you which dogs is barking the loudest. So I'll, I'll be nice and give them the win versus the Colts. But it wouldn't shock me if they lost that game, okay? Kansas City, L. Home for the Texans is a W. Home for the Falcons, I'm going to keep it a buck with you. I'll give it to them, but it won't be easy. It won't be easy. I'll give it to them, but it won't be easy. All right? So through four weeks, I got them at three and one. That's cool. That's cool. Three and one. Here's where it gets tricky. I got them losing to at Buffalo. That's a loss. I got them losing to the Colts. I don't think they sweep the Colts. And I feel like by week six, Anthony Richardson will be better, and Jonathan Taylor will be back by week six. So I feel like the Colts will get the second game. At the Saints is a loss. At the Steelers is a loss. Okay? So going into their bye week, they got four losses. They got four losses. They're three and four going into their week eight bye week. Remember, nine and, nine and a half, they could only lose seven games. So they already got four. It's only week eight coming out of the bye versus the 49ers. Lost. They go lost number five versus the Titans. I'll give them that win at home at the Texans. I'm going to give them a loss. I don't think they sweep Houston. I think by, by week 12, Houston, CJ Stroud should have his legs up under him. He should know what the fuck he's doing. That defense would be humming. I feel like that's an upset game, especially considering they have the Bengals the next week. It's real easy to overlook the Texans when you're playing the Bengals next Monday night. That's a loss. And then they're going to lose to the Bengals. So there goes seven. That's seven. At Cleveland, that's another loss. That's, that's loss number eight. Ka-ching. Cash. Cash it. <laughs> Ding. There go, my, there go my win. There go my win. I don't even need to preview the rest of the schedule, but I'm going to do it anyway. L Lamar Jackson loss at Tampa. That might be a loss, but I'll give him a win because Baker may feel some shit. Home for the Panthers, i give him a win. That's cool. At Tennessee, they're not sweeping Mike Vrabel and Derrick Henry. That's a loss. What am I trying to tell you, Jacksonville fans? What I'm trying to tell you is simple. You're going to lose 10 games. I got y'all going 7 and 10. I don't know how else to tell you this, Jacksonville fans, but you're going 7 and 10.
Trevor Lawrence is not that dude. I don't give a fuck how many weapons you put around him. He's not that good. I saw that damn playoff game. All them balls he throws into the dirt. I saw him play my Giants last year. All those balls he even throws in the dirt or throws too high. He's not consistent. He's not the next Peyton Manning. I got killed on Twitter a month ago because some idiot Jaguar fan had the audacity to come at me because I think it was NFL Rumors. I think it was NFL Rumors had posted a tweet or something saying that the only two rookies to go like, one in 15 on the road to start the career. Something stupid was Peyton Manning. Trevor Lawrence has some kind of stat in common with Peyton Manning. It's a loser stat. And I said, he's never going to be Peyton Manning. Ever. Ever, 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 ever going to be Peyton Manning. And a whole bunch of Jaguar fans came out their fucking mouth and started coming at me without permission, without my sending for them, and started calling me all kind of idiot. I don't know football. Da, 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 da. Now I'm going to hold you accountable. So now I'm on your ass. I was going to let y'all be. I was going to let you be. But now I'm on your ass, Jacksonville. You're, on, you, you're officially in that black book. You're on that black list. I'm throwing you in that fist unit circle. Yeah, somewhere you don't want to be, but y'all been there before. Jaguar fans, when have I ever been wrong about y'all? When has Big Fist been wrong about y'all? When? When? I told you you weren't winning the Super Bowl. You blew a 17-point lead to Tom Brady in the third quarter. I told you you weren't going to win it. The next year, I told you you weren't going to the playoffs. You didn't go. I told you these things. I told you. Urban Meyer was going to be a disaster. What happened? He was going to titty bars instead of flying home with the team. And now I'm trying to tell you he ain't the next big thing. At some point, Jaguar fans, you should be scared. You should piss your pants. You should wipe tears from your fucking cheeks when I speak to you. Because every time I open my mouth about your sorry ass franchise, I'm right. I'm right. I mean, at some point, I'm like, I'm like a hurricane ticker. I'm really, I'm like a hurricane ticker. You know I'm coming. Pause. You know, you know I'm coming. Pack your shit and run. For real. Like, quit playing with me, Jaguar fans. Y'all are poverty. Y'all would never be good. You will never be relevant. You will never matter. You will always be irrelevant. You do equivalent of the little kid in high school that girls will never give pussy to. At best, they'll smile at you and give you a hug to do their homework, but they will never acknowledge you. These NFL streets will never take you serious. Bottom line, accept your lot in life and shut the fuck up. That's it, that's all. Subscribe to the unit if you're rocking with me. My name is Fist Vegas, and I approve this message.